Namaste everyone. <clears throat> Thank you for joining in this second part of the video series on the Dharakaraka. In the first part of the video, we covered the basic details about what the Dharakaraka is, how to identify the Dharakaraka, what is actually indicated by the Dharakaraka. And, uh, you know, we also examined the role of various planets when they assume the status of Dharakaraka in your chart. So in this video, we will be looking at the Dharakaraka's placement in various houses of the horoscope. But then before we begin, kindly subscribe to the channel if you, if you have not done that already. Like the content if you find it useful and please share it with your friends and family if you feel they can also benefit from this knowledge. So the Dharakaraka is one of the Charakarakas given by Jaimini and Parashara. And the lowest, it is easy to... Find out the Dharakaraka. Just look at the lowest degree planet in the horoscope. Okay. And uh, the placement, the house placement and the sign placement of the Dharakaraka reveals a lot of intricate details about your spouse and about the quality of your married life. Okay. So in this video, as I said, we are going to look at the various <clears throat> results concerning the house placement of the Dharakaraka. Okay. So if the Dharakaraka is placed in the first house, then the spouse would be a very independent natured man or woman who will be very successful in your own life or in your own businesses. Okay. The spouse will be supportive of you and uh, you will be attached to each other and do a lot of things together. Okay. And uh, remember, Dharakaraka really comes to life after marriage. Okay. So if Dharakaraka is placed in the first house, your sense of self will develop at a tremendous rate after you are married. Okay. If the Dharakaraka is placed in the second house, then, you know, at times you can, may run into financial problems after the marriage. Okay. But, you know, your spouse will have a focus on the financial stability and will increase the shared resources with a possibility of wealth. Okay. So usually this placement gives a very family oriented spouse who is very, very caring. And uh, I've seen people having this placement, the spouse either works in finances or something that relates to the use of voice or speech okay for example like a public speaker or a motivational speaker as such if Dharakaraka is placed in the third house then this gives a very communicative and intellectual spouse okay a skilled person who is very creative but also very courageous remember third house is the house of courage okay and uh, you know this placement will ensure that you will communicate a lot together and uh, this communication becomes the main theme of the marriage so as to say okay the spouse might be working in media or you know in communicative fields like writing and blogging journalism and so on okay if the dark arca is placed in the fourth house then the spouse would be very caring the spouse would have a motherly or fatherly you know attitude towards you and usually this is a placement that gives a more or less happy marriage okay and uh, the spouse is also responsible for gaining of property. That means you may gain property through the spouse after marriage. And uh, there is also this possibility that the spouse may be working in real estate, you know, from home or may have a business that involves cars or vehicles or other forms of convenient conveyances. OK, and uh, multiple having multiple properties after marriage is also possible if you have the Dharakaraka in the fourth house. If you have the Dharakaraka in the fifth house, then this gives a loving spouse with uh, creative abilities and also someone who is well educated. Okay. And, uh, you know, the spouse would be very fond of pleasures in life, you know, fond of food, would be very talented, would be a very good father or a mother. That means would be very good for children. Okay. And usually, Dharakaraka in the fifth house gives a very you know, very romantic atmosphere even after marriage, okay? Your spouse may be into the stock market, creative fields, you know, in the media or entertainment. And uh, after marriage, you may experience a huge inflow of earnings. That means increase in, increase in your income after marriage is very much a possibility, okay? If the Dharakaraka is located in the sixth house, then this gives a hardworking spouse who is very focused on details, okay? Sometimes so focused that the spouse might be categorized as a nitpicker okay especially venus becomes the dharakaraka and goes into the sixth house of your chart and uh, the spouse will be helpful and serving towards you but you know that can cause 
quarrels at times because then the spouse would actually pay more attention to details rather than paying attention to you. Okay, the spouse would be more perfection oriented. All right. Uh, usually I've seen this uh, displacement giving spouses working in healthcare, such as a doctor or even any kind of service related job like, uh, like in the hotel industry. Okay. And another concern that comes up with the Dharakaraka in the sixth house is that the health of your spouse could be weak. Okay. Then if the Dharakaraka is placed in the seventh house, then the spouse would be very popular before marriage and would have a very, very you know, fine skill for socializing. Okay, the spouse could be business minded and romantic and the spouse might have different business partners or even after marriage, there is a possibility of the spouse becoming a partner in your business. Okay, the spouse might work in public fields or counseling and it <clears throat> should give you a balanced married life. Okay, if the Dara Karaka is placed in the eighth house, in that case, this is a difficult placement because then, you know, you could have some sudden events coming into the marriage and if you are not mentally you know, emotionally stable, or if you are emotionally vulnerable, then it can bring difficulties into the marriage. The spouse, I've seen displacement, you know, uh, the spouse, with displacement, the spouse might have secretive tendencies, but it could also mean that the spouse has struggled with physical and mental issues before the marriage and could be bringing those issues into the marriage. Okay. Uh, this usually makes one very sexually focused and the placement can also bring about financial issues likely caused by the spouse okay does the spouse may also be fond of uh, you know subjects like the occult and you know scientific secrets okay and uh, deep transformation will take place within the married life okay and the possibility is that you know after your marriage you can gain a lot of money through an inheritance either from your end or from the spouse's end Okay, what if the Dharakaraka is placed in the ninth house? In that case, the spouse would be very religious or having a very spiritual outlook. And uh, there is also a possibility of your spouse being of foreign origin or fond of, you know, travel and other foreign cultures. Okay, so this is one of the very few lucky placements of the Dharakaraka because it brings luck and happiness into the marriage. Okay. And the spouse may also be working in a, in the field of higher education, like being a teacher or a professor, or the spouse might be dealing with long distance travels related to work. Okay. If the Dharakaraka is placed in the 10th house, in that case, the spouse might have, you know, his or her own career or business before the marriage. And, uh, you know, the spouse will be very focused into maintaining a reputation, into maintaining a public image or status. And uh, it could also be a fact that your spouse can be very influential and powerful. Okay. The spouse will be very career, career oriented and possibly a workaholic. Okay. And that workaholic can be in a negative sense if the Dharakaraka finds, you know, bad placements from malefic planets, uh, sorry, bad aspects from malefic planets. It is also possible that the spouse will boost your reputation and there is a high possibility that you may meet each other through work, you know, or in the office. If the Dharakaraka is placed in the 11th house, then uh, this is a good placement because it gives happiness and wealth, if not afflicted. Okay. And uh, socializing as well as friendship in the marriage becomes very important to the spouse as well as for the native, okay, as well as for you. And the spouse might be interested in investing in stock markets. And usually the spouse comes from a very wealthy family, having a large network of friends and relatives. Okay. And there is also the possibility of gaining new friends through your spouse. Okay. If the Dharakaraka is placed in the 12th house, then this gives a very spiritual spouse with a high possibility of having foreign origins. Okay. There is a love for travel. And, uh, you know, something about faraway places is liked by your spouse and you will possibly travel together often to seek tranquility in nature, okay? The spouse may also be into alternative healing or into practices such as meditation, yoga, tantra, and so on. And the spouse could have a sacrificial quality about himself or herself. That means the spouse could easily sacrifice his or her requirements or his or her needs for you or for your family, okay? So this is all about the various placements of the Dharakaraka in the houses, all right? And uh, if your Dharakaraka is weak, I'm sharing a very effective remedy that, you know, that can be done. Okay. If your Dharakaraka is weak, 
then please do four malas of the mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya every night just before sleeping okay you should do this mantra on the bed facing the south or the west direction okay please do this mantra every night before sleeping four malas to be done for 41 days starting on any friday okay so that's it from me in this video please subscribe to the channel if you have not done that already and i'll see you soon in yet another video namaste om guru namaha